Microsoft Power Pages is a new platform that will allow organizations to build and launch process-driven websites, such as those that allow people to create customer service cases. Let's take a look. The first step to create a Power Pages portal is to log into the environment make.powerpages.microsoft.com and then log in with your regular email address and password. To create your first site, simply select the option here marked as Create a Site. You can then select from a series of layouts. These are pre-configured for different industries and also some of these interact directly with dynamics such as these items here for community, employee and customer self-service. I'm going to select this layout here. Just going to select Choose this template and now we can give the site a name. We can then select Done. It will then take a few minutes to build up our portal. Once the site has been created, you can then edit its appearance. You'll then see that it's equipped with this styling area here, and you can then select various themes. I'm just going to take mine back to the original theme here, and you'll see also that you can easily change the colors here, the background, uh, again for the call to action buttons and so forth. You'll also see on here that you can change the styling of the headers, the buttons and the links. And that can all be changed without any coding knowledge. We'll then save these changes. And now if you move back to this area here for the pages, you'll see that we can now edit the images quite easily. We can then select these options here, select an alternative from your library, or again, you could just load up any image that you have saved. And that's essentially some of the ways that you can style this, how you can personalize it. You can add text, type over the text. Uh, we mentioned there that you don't need any coding knowledge, but if you did want to get into the code to edit it, you will see that you do have this option here. And that's how you can style a Power Pages portal. If you wanted to add in a new section, you can just click Add a Section, select how you'd like that to be laid out. Do you want that two columns, three columns, and so forth? And then within each section here, you will see that you can add in either text boxes, buttons, or other components such as forms. If you wanted to take a section out, just select the area here and delete it. Likewise, you can select these sections and you can move them up or down on your pages. If you wanted to add in a call to action, we can just select an existing button, select edit, and then you can hyperlink this to a location. You could hyperlink this to a URL here, or you could link to a page. I'm going to link this to the Contact Us page, and then select Link to a Page, and then from this drop down here, we can then select Contact Us. And there's some of the ways that you can customize the appearance of your portal. If we want to add a new page to a portal, we can do. It's quite straightforward. Just select the option here to add a new page. You've got various layouts you can select there. I'm just going to start mine from blank. Just then going to select add. And then you can see in here that you can add various items on. So we could add into here an image or a button. I'm going to select the option here to add on a form. I'm going to create a new form. We can then select where this data is going to be stored. Now I'm going to select case, and this is now going to feed through into Dynamics. We can then select the various forms that are available. I'm going to select the web create case form, which is specifically designed for use on a portal. We can then select various options here, such as on submit, which message do we want to see? And again, we could over type these details. We can also select whether or not captures are used, and it's advisable that they are, and we can also uh, select on here the option to allow attachments. We'll then select OK, and now you can see this form and what it's going to look like to the end users. You can preview your portal, just select Preview up here. This will then allow you to preview this on desktop, or you can scan the QR code to see how this will behave on a mobile device. I'm going to select Desktop. We can now see our page. Again, we can select our call to action and ensure that goes to the correct place. We can also select our navigation and how we can move between the pages. To configure how your contacts can access your portal, 
just select more options here, select portal management. You'll then see on the left hand side all of your security settings. So from here I'm just going to select the web roles and you'll notice that you have web roles for each site that is created. I'm going to select the authenticated users. We can then select that role and we can also select the related table permissions. Now these will allow access to different areas, things like accounts, cases, permission to create the cases, permission to edit the cases, and there's specific levels. Now, one thing that people typically only want is they only want their contacts to be able to see the accounts that they belong to, and likewise only see the cases that are raised by the relevance accounts. And these can all be configured here under the table permissions. Once these web roles are configured, you can then assign the web role to a contact and create an invitation. So I'm going to select my contacts now. From there, I'm just going to assign them a web role, just under the details tab. I'm just going to assign them a web role and you can see these configured. Once they're in place and you've added those roles, you can then create an invitation just by selecting this option here to create invitation. And then once we save that invitation, it will then populate this invitation code that could be emailed to somebody, or alternatively, there is a flow which will send out that invitation to the relevant contacts. Once users have been invited to the portal, they can select the option here to sign in. They can redeem their invitation and paste in their code, uh, and that will take them through the registration process. Alternatively, people can just log in using their Microsoft credentials using the Azure AD option. They can click on there, it will send them an email to confirm, and then once that process is complete, they will set their password and then access the portal as normal. Once users are logged in and authenticated, if you've created a portal that allows people to create cases and has a case creation form, they can create those cases directly from the portal. So I'm just going to log a case in here now. Okay, and then from here we can add some other details. We can select the customer account on here and subject to conditions, this can be pre-filtered. Typically people would want this to be pre-filtered so it only shows the, the contact zone account on here. So it's not gonna show all customers in the database. Likewise, you could add a specific contact on here as well. I'm just going to select on here, case time, I'm just gonna say that's a problem. Uh, and I'm gonna say that's related to products. And now if we scroll down, you'll see this capture on here. And then from here, just going to submit this. And that's how you can create a case in the portal. And now if I go to the list of active cases in the customer service hub, then that case is one of the cases listed. So if I select that case here, you can now see who the customer is. If I scroll down a little bit further, you'll see that description that was typed into the portal was added. And these are some of the ways that Power Pages can be used with Dynamics 365. In this example, we focused on Power Pages low code, no code capabilities to build an external website. But Power Pages supports all levels of technical fluency, including support for HTML, Visual Studio, and JavaScript. To find out more about how a Power Pages portal could help you respond quickly to the needs of your customers, partners, and other external stakeholders, contact Preact to discuss licensing and how to get started. Thank you.